In this video, I'm going to show you how to record from one project tab to another in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to record the output or the final mix to a different tab or project tab, as we could have many project tabs open at the same time. And in this situation, I want to record from one to another. And we could do that for final mixes, just for sending certain tracks to other project tabs. Maybe you're recording a guitar or piano on input, and you want to send that to a different project tab to be recording at all times. Or maybe for live looping, where you have a bunch of effects all set up in one project, you want to record the output to another one, and then loop it from there. Either way, we can set this up the same. So like I said, I want to send the final mix of this project to a different project tab. Let's see what it sounds like now. So what we're gonna do is go up here to the actions menu and choose show action list. Then we're gonna type in to the filter resource. And there's an action right here to show the Reaper resource path in the Finder or Explorer. Let's double click this. And Reaper opens up a folder where the Reaper application is. Then we're going to look through this and find the file reaper.ini. This is a file where Reaper stores a lot of your settings. Let's right click it. Then we're going to open it up with a text editor. This might be different on your computer. Just open it up with any text editor. And when you open it up, it should look like this. Then we're gonna search for a certain section to type some text into. I'm gonna to go to find and type in the start bracket, then reaper and the close bracket. And that should take us to the section right here. I'm gonna create another line and then type in reroute underscore loopback equals and the amount of outputs or inputs we want to create. We could do two, four, eight, or whatever. Let's keep it simple and just do two. Then we're going to save this file, go back to Reaper, and quit it, and reopen it. Then we can go to our master track, go to the routing, and create a new hardware send to send to a new tab. We'll add a new one, and we'll see, here's my normal hardware outputs. And down over here are the new ones Reaper created. Name loopback, output one and two. We could choose stereo or the mono ones. And if we created more, we would see more here. Again, two, four, eight, 16, whatever you need. We just created two. So I'm gonna choose one and two for stereo. And now Reaper's gonna send our final mix out our speakers over here and out the new loopback outputs we just created but it'll still sound the same. Break it so now let's create a new project tab. Go to File, New Project Tab, and let's create a new track. I'm gonna name it Final Mix. Then we'll put the track into Record, go to the input and set it to Stereo and that new loopback input that Reaper created. Again, if we had more, we'd see them over here. Here's my normal inputs on my audio interface, and here's the loopback ones Reaper created. We'll choose this. Now, if we play it back now, it might feed back as it plays in both projects. So let's right click the record button and turn off monitor input. So we're not gonna hear it through this track. We're just gonna hear it through here, but it'll still record to this track. So let's go into record. Go back to the other project tab and hit play. And we're done. We can hit stop. Hit stop in this tab as well. And if we play it back, we have our mix. Wanna break it off and go your own 
sounds exactly the same. Although we could also record just certain tracks from the other project tab. Let's undo that. Let's name this drums. Let's say we just wanted to record the drums from this project into this track. Let's delete this hardware send. Go to our drum track in the routing and create a new hardware output here. Again, we'll set it to loop back one and two. And now put this track into record. Play it from here. And it's just recorded the drums to this track. Or maybe we want to record the drums and bass. Go to the routing on the bass and add a new hardware output here. Loop back output one and two. Put it into record. Play it. Now it just recorded the drums and bass to this track. And like I said, we could use this for almost anything. Whether you're looping and you want to create your sound in one project and send it to the looper in a different one. Or just playing your guitar or piano in one project while always recording it in the background to another. There's so many different ways we could use this feature and this is how we do it. So that's pretty much it. That's how to record from one project tab to another in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!